Hello guys and welcome back to another GTA 5 modding tutorial. In today's video we will be installing Visual V uh, for GTA 5 in the year 2024. Uh, before we do get into this video I will be covering all the requirements um, so you guys know exactly how to install. So if you do follow all of the steps correctly this will work for you guys and also if you could like and subscribe it would really help me out and I would really appreciate it. Um, yeah, and let's get right into the video. So, the first thing we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to go ahead and go to our main game directory. To find that, what you want to go ahead and do, guys, is go to your Steam. Once you're in your Steam, go ahead and go to your library. Go to your Grand Theft Auto V. Once you're here, go ahead and go to the Manage tab over here. Go ahead and click on that. Hover over Manage. Go to Browse Local Files. Go ahead and click on that. Then it should come up here. If it doesn't, minimize Steam. And then, as you can see, this is where your main game directory is located. Um, also, guys, before we do start installing any requirements, if you go back to common, as you can see here, I have a copy, which is basically a backup. I say this in every video. I would recommend backing up your game files before you do install any mods. To do that, go into your common folder, click on Grand Theft Auto V, right click, show more options, copy, go down here, right click, show more options, paste. That might take a while, but I uh, really do recommend that. Another thing, if you go back into Steam Apps, uh, you find the common folder, go ahead and drag that underneath desktop where it says pin to quick access, let go. Now it's there, so every time you close it down, you can go to common, go into your own V, and there you go. So I'm just going to go ahead and let's get right into the tutorial. So the first thing you want to go ahead and do is go into the links below in the, in the description guys uh, the first link will be script up v go ahead and go it'll take you to this page here go down to the download button downloaded the latest version go ahead and download that guys and go ahead and open script up v with winra or something else i'll just extract it somewhere guys i'm just going to do it with winra once you go ahead and open script up v there'll be a bin folder in here and a readme text and an internet shortcut go ahead and go into the bin folder guys uh, once you're in the bin folder, you'll see three files, scriptsugv.dll, nativetrainer.asi, and input8.dll. Go ahead and select all of them, then hold left control and deselect nativetrainer.asi. Once you've got dimpot8.dll and scriptsugv.dll selected, go ahead and drag these two into the Grand Theft Auto main game directory, and go ahead and drop them. Then you can go ahead and refresh. Now we're done with installing scriptsugv. Back into the description, guys. The next one will be scriptupv.net. Make sure when you're here, go to the latest version. On the latest version, scroll down to the latest assets and go ahead and download the one called scriptupv.net.zip. Once you've downloaded that, go ahead and open that with WinRA or something else or extract it somewhere. Once you've opened that, guys, um, there will be a license and a readme text and scriptupv.net. Um, files in here. Go ahead and select all of them and deselect license text and readme text while holding uh, left control. Once you've got all the scripts of v.net files selected, go ahead and drag all of them into your Grand Theft Auto V. Okay. Um, and let go. Refresh. Now you've installed scripts of v.net. Next link will be OpenIV. This is required also. It'll take you to openiv.com. Go ahead and click on the download now button for whatever the version is. Make sure it's the latest. Go ahead and download OpenIV. Once you download it, guys, it'll come up with oivsetup.exe. Go ahead and open that setup. And now it's going to go ahead and say choose your language. Go ahead and choose your language. And then once you've chosen the language, click continue. Then go ahead and read through the agreement and the license terms if you if you want to. Uh, go ahead and click I accept the terms of this agreement. Then click continue. Continue again. Click yes. Let's just go ahead and install for you. Once it's installed, just click close, guys. Then go ahead and open OpenIV from the desktop. Then it'll pop up with a window when you open it. Go ahead and go to Grand Theft Auto V and open the windows. Now what it's going to go ahead and do is ask you for your main game directory. Go ahead and click on browse. Uh, if you pinned it to common, go ahead and go in common and then into your game. But if you don't know where it is, go ahead and click on this PC, local disk, your program files, x86, Steam, Steam apps, common, and then Grand Theft Auto V. And then click select folder. Now it should say come up with a file and click continue. And then click continue again. 
Now it's just going to go ahead and load up for the first time. It might take a bit of a while, guys. Okay, so once it loads up, go ahead and once you're in here, go ahead and go to the tools here and go down to ASI manager. Then go ahead and install all three of these. Make sure if ASI loader is already installed, that's fine. But if it's not, go ahead and install it and then install these two. If it asks to create a mods folder, click yes, okay. Then install open camera. Once you've got all three of these installed, click close. Now go ahead and click on edit mode and then click yes, okay. Now we can go ahead and put um, this down here, okay. Now the final link is going to be Visual V. Again, link in the description for this. Uh, there'll be some images here, as you can see. This is what it'll look like, guys. And go ahead and look through them yourself. And also uh, read the full description before you do install it. You don't have to. But anyway, once you're here, guys, go down to the most updated version, the current version. Once you see that, go ahead and click this little green download button. And then the big download button. Go ahead and download that. Once you've downloaded that, um, go ahead and open it with WinRAR. I'll put it somewhere on your desktop, okay? And extract it. Go ahead. Once you've opened Visual V, you'll see three files and a README text in here. So, what you want to go ahead and do, I'll, I'll actually explain some things first. So, the original files here, this is basically, this is basically so you can uninstall it. So, if you don't like it, you can al always uninstall it with the original files. Okay. Um, but let's go ahead and start. Go ahead and go into the installation via mod package. And then you'll see visualv.oiv guys go ahead and drag this into openiv at the side and then it's going to come up with this guys just click install and then select mods folder and click confirm installation now it's going to go ahead and install visual v to your grand theft auto v so it should not take too long guys okay guys so once it's finished installing go ahead and click close and then uh, go ahead and go out of this. Now next guys is going to be the optionals. I'm going to go through them and how to install them. So go ahead and go into the optionals. And we're going to go into our main game directory. I'm going to quickly show you how you can install these. Okay. So first one is going to be advanced motion blur. Go ahead and go into there guys. I'm not going to be installing them. But I'm just going to show you how to. Okay. In here guys go ahead and select advanced blur.asi and advanced blur.ini. And go ahead and drag that into your main game directory and then you've installed this next one is going to be dynamic shadows from pedestrian vehicles sorry about that go ahead and go in there guys then go ahead and select shadows.asi and shadows.ini go ahead and drag these into your main game directory then you've installed that as well next will be earth's atmosphere go ahead and go in there now there'll be photos in here you can go ahead and see as you can see this will look like and there's also 42. It's what it look like, guys. Okay. Then if you go out of here, there'll be ENB settings. Go ahead and go in there. So you do have to have ENB for this. So don't install it if you don't. But uh, if you have ENB, all you have to go ahead and do is select everything in here except from the uh, installation.txt. Just deselect that and drag all of this into here and replace. Okay. Next will be procedural shadows okay go ahead and go in there now there'll be an oiv so go back to open iv drag and drop this into open iv click install into the mods folder and confirm installation okay that's what you have to do for procedural shadows okay next one is removed grass dithering plus trees reflection go ahead and go in there there'll be another oiv so back into open iv drag and drop it into open iv and then click install mods folder confirm installation okay so you install that one next is a reshared preset which will be in the main game directory and by the way this does say performance loss so do this at your own risk go ahead and go in there guys make sure you also have reshared installed before you do install this select everything in here go ahead and drag and drop it into your main game directory and then refresh okay that's how to install all the optional files and I'm also going to real quickly show you how you can uninstall it as well which will be in the original files if you do want to uninstall it go ahead and go into the original files.oiv go ahead and drag that into OpenIV click install into the mods folder confirm installation now that will uninstall it okay anyway once you've installed it and you've installed all the optional files you want you can go ahead and close everything down guys 
refresh your desktop and go ahead and go into the game so i'll see every everyone in the game okay guys so once we get into the game as you can see already the lights are improved this is what i really love about visual v is it really makes the light so much better and it just makes the game look so much better uh, but yeah this is basically what it looks like in game i'm just showing you that it's working and um the graphic mod is on as you can see here really cool but yeah this is the end of the tutorial guys i hope you did enjoy if it did help you out in any way um subscribing would really help me out and i hope you enjoyed this tutorial and i'll see you guys later goodbye